Hello everyone. Please welcome to our channel Travels and Coffee. We visited Turin at the end of October 2023. We start our journey from Milan Central and the train journey is approximately 1 hour each way. Since we got the tickets on spot, it cost us around 66 return for one person. Turin or Torino in Italian is a city located in northern Italy. It's the capital of Piedmont region and is known for its rich history and cultural heritage and contributions to industry and technology. Turin was once the capital of the Kingdom of Italy and played a significant role in the country's unification. Since we are spending just a few hours in Turin, We just wanted to explore the Royal Palace of Turin and head back to Milan. Google Maps shows the walk to Royal Palace would take approximately 18 minutes from Porto Nuovo station. Once we arrive at the town center, we were pleasantly surprised to find that there is a chocolate festival in Turin. But first, we head to the Royal Palace. This is the charming historic town center which is known for its elegant architecture, spacious squares and grand boulevards. The historic town center of Turin is a blend of history, culture and architectural beauty offering visitors a glimpse into the city's illustrious past. The square's central location makes it a focal point for exploring Turin. Many of the city's key attractions, shops and restaurants are within walking distance from Piazza Castello, making it a convenient starting point for visitors. In the center of Piazza Castello, you'll find the Fountain of 12 Months, a neoclassical fountain representing the 12 months of the year. It adds to the aesthetic appeal of the square. We are now in front of the Royal Palace of Turin or Plaza Real di Torino. You can buy the tickets online to avoid queuing at the desks and the tickets cost us around 15 euros each. We got the tickets at the desks but the palace was not crowded in the morning. The ticket provides you entrance to the Royal Museums of Turin of the Royal Palace with Armory and Shroud Chapel. Savoy Gallery and Museums of Antiques. The Royal Gardens have a free entrance. They also provide you access to the exhibitions. It has served as a residence for the House of Savoy, the ruling family of the Kingdom of Sardinia and later the Kingdom of Italy. The construction of the Royal Palace began in the 16th century and it underwent several expansions. and renovations over the century the palace has been residence of many dukes kings and queens of the house of savoy the royal palace exhibits a mix of architectural styles reflecting the various periods of its construction and renovation it features elements of renaissance baroque and neoclassical architecture Today the Royal Palace is open to the public and houses several museums and art collections. Visitors can explore the lavish rooms and chambers which are adorned with period furniture, paintings, sculptures and decorative arts. The palace's museums include the Royal Armory, the Royal Library and the Chapel of the Holy Shroud.
the royal armory within the palace displays an extensive collection of armor, weapons, and military equipment. It provides insight into the martial history of the House of Savoy. Among the objects belonging to the collection are the sword of San Maurizio, one of the most important relics owned by the Savoy family, made in the 13th century and still preserved with its 15th century impressed gilded and painted leather case. A 14th century animal horse from Naples, a 16th century pistol which belonged to the Emperor Charles V, the sword used by Napoleon during his campaign in Egypt, guns and rifles owned by Charles Albert of Sardinia. We are now standing in the dining hall which displays the precious and refined silverware. The palace also houses the Royal Library at the ground floor which has a vast collection of books, manuscripts and historical documents, making it an important repository of knowledge. It stores over 200,000 volumes, ancient papers, engravings, and illuminated manuscripts. It also houses 13 autograph sheets by Leonardo da Vinci, to which the famous codex on the flight of birds was later added. The chapel of the Holy Shroud is part of the royal palace. It was built to house the Shroud of Turin, a religious relic believed by some to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. The Shroud is displayed periodically and the chapel attracts pilgrims and visitors from around the world. At the Royal Museum's Savoy Gallery, an exhibition dedicated to Rembrandt with some of his work was displayed including the portrait of a sleeping old man. After finishing the tour of the palace, we head out to get some gelato in this heat. Now on our way back to the railway station, we pass through the annual chocolate festival of Turin. Turin is renowned for its love of chocolate and the city hosts an annual chocolate festival known as Chocolato. This festival is a celebration of all things chocolate and attracts visitors from all around the world. During the festival, the streets and squares of Turin are filled with stalls and exhibitions showcasing a wide variety of chocolate products. Chocolatiers, both local and international, display their creations, offering visitors the chance to sample and purchase an array of chocolates, pralines, truffles and other cocoa-based delights. One of the highlights of Chocolato is the impressive chocolate sculptures created by skilled chocolatiers. These intricate and artistic chocolate sculptures often depict famous landmarks, characters or imaginative creations. Visitors can marvel at the craftsmanship and creativity displayed in this edible works of art. The festival provides opportunities for chocolate enthusiasts to participate in tastings and workshops. Attendees can learn about the chocolate making process, the different varieties of cocoa, and even try their hand at creating their own chocolate treats. Many cafes, 
patisseries and restaurants in Turin join in the chocolate celebration by offering special chocolate themed menus during the festival. This allows visitors to savor not only sweets but also from the chocolate infused dishes and desserts at local eateries. Renowned chefs often conduct culinary demonstrations showcasing innovative ways to incorporate chocolate into savory dishes and desserts. These demonstrations provide insights into the versatility of chocolate in the kitchen. The Chocolate Festival is a delightful experience for chocolate lovers offering a perfect blend of gastronomy, artistry and entertainment. With the day coming to an end, we leave Turin until next time. Please like this video and let us know in comments what do you like about Turin. Thanks for watching.